afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. I am Melissa Thomas with Florida National News as well as our sister station, Florida News Channel. We are here coming to you live at Ola at the park at Icon Park by International Tribe in Orlando. Dozens of vendors here. This is being hosted by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of the Metro Orlando. This is their second annual Ola at the park. So we're, we're here spotlighting several of the different vendors. This wonderful gentleman here is one of them, Austin David, who's actually a good friend of ours. So Austin, kind of talk to us about you know the company you represent and the project that you guys are working on. So, uh, well, first off, Melissa, thank you for having me. Sure. Um, second off, the, the project that we've been working on, uh, my company is Metroplex Investments. We've been in business since 1984 and we've been doing commercial real estate, mortgages, basically everything in between. We've kind of adapted as the years have gone, especially with 2008, you know, we had to change things up a bit. So uh, as of now, we have a, a 12 and a half acre uh, park that is just uh, north of Avalon Park, right on East Colonial. And as of right now, we're trying to see what we can do with it. We've, we've kind of gone through a different uh, different types of things, trying to figure out what we can do with it. And we've settled on trying to turn it into a South American park. Um, we've basically go, gone to different um, countries in South America. We've gone to Ecuador, Argentina, Brazil, talked to different uh, vendors there to see if they want to move their businesses to Florida, to America. And basically to try and create an entire South American park where it has all these different shops to try and uh, Give a little bit of flair, South South American flair to uh, to you know East Orlando. Awesome. And how long has this been in the works? Oh boy. Um, so we've had the park for almost a decade now, and we've, like I said, we've gone through different kind of things about what we want to do with it, and that, that's been the biggest issue is everything has changed so much over the past five seven years. We've had to adapt constantly, and. We've kind of settled on on this whole situation over the last, I'd say, three or four years, um, just based on how how things have kind of gone in the markets, uh, how many people want to move to America from uh, South America uh, for different various reasons. Um, but a lot of opportunity, a lot of growth for businesses, expansion. You know, you have a lot of companies that are well known in South America that people in America have no idea about, and so. You know, there are these these food companies, these uh, wine companies, chocolatiers, florists, any d kind of different things that you can think of. They they don't have the presence here in America that they may want, and we figured there's an opportunity there for us to kind of capitalize on. Awesome, that's, that's such a pretty cool idea. So, kind of talk about why, what made you guys select that area of uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Well, it was uh, in the path of progress. I mean, the, the, where Avalon Park is and where everything is on that strip of East Colonial, everything is growing. I mean, it's all brand new construction, all these different commercial shops opening up. And the thing we thought about is, well, there's all these different shops that are, you know, like McDonald's is and Wawa's and all these, you know, well-known companies. Right. But what about all the mom and pop stores? What about all the small places that people haven't heard about? Because, you know, you can only go to Wendy's so many times or McDonald's so many times to go get food. So there's an opportunity for, for these small businesses, especially for a, a, a budding Latin American community here in Central Florida. I mean, it's, it's massive, you know, to be able to grow it, especially for, for South America, you know, for, for like Ecuadorian places, there's not many, you know, Brazilian, you've got a lot on I drive around here, obviously, but there's a lot of South American countries that aren't necessarily represented here in Central Florida. So we're kind of trying to capitalize on those and bring those to into the fold and, and give people a bit more of a, you know, well-rounded taste, if you will. Talk a little bit about the, the logistical process. Obviously, at your, you know, at the table, we got to take a visit at the table. They mm. have the blueprints out. They've got the renderings and everything. Talk about that process and how has it been working with Orange County to try to get the ball rolling? It, it has definitely been a team effort, Melissa. Um, having a number of different people wearing a lot of different hats to try and get this over the over the you know over the line it's it's been a, a long process and there's you don't realize how many things you have to do until you have to do it and it, it really has been a process you know i've I, me personally i've only been a, a small contributor to it um there have been so many people that have been you know in ecuador or here in orlando that have been a, a much bigger parts of it uh than i have but i've been a part of all the meetings and everything and it's just it's just 
it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really is a lot, and it's time consuming. And that's that's the biggest thing is is getting everything done is is fine, but the time that it takes to get everything done, you you, you know you spend eight and ten hours a day doing like one thing, and then you have like ten other things that you have to do. So it's it's been a long learning lesson for for how big of a project, how much we bit off, how much we can chew, kind of thing. It's, it's been a lot, but it's it's been fun. You know, it's, we've learned a lot. Okay, cool. <laughs> and twelve and a half acres. He's in plot of land, guys. Like, yeah. It's an entire plaza. It's like, you know, a plaza with kind of a stage with it, and then there's also like a little park and sea boat towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful rendering. So yeah. kind of talk to them, let our folks know where they can learn more about the project and how they can get involved. It's yeah, big. absolutely. Well, we have, uh, like you said, we have some renderings out. We have a full on video on our Facebook page if you go to Metroplex Investments uh, on Facebook or MetroplexInvestments.com it has links to everything has an entire layout of the entire project including any little details that you may want to know about it uh, how to get in contact with us obviously as well but uh, we've got a whole video of everything that we plan on doing with the park including like you said that stage that concert area trying to give a little bit more um, to the Latin American community with having different concerts and different uh, events there as well and like you said with the park in the back where you have I mean it's called the park at East Colonial so of course we have to have a park in the back um, but we have a nice little fountain and you know all these different plans it's just a matter of getting it over the line and uh, getting it done but um, hopefully sometime soon we, we will be making uh, headway on that thank you for having me Absolutely. Absolutely.